The Victorian government has extended its trial for legalised e-scooters by two months. There's a big push now to legalise them altogether, which is um, coming from the Liberal Party here as well. Now, I think they're in a few cities now. I think they're up in Brisbane. They're certainly in Adelaide. They've been trialling them here in Melbourne. You know, you can hire them and ride them. Christy, uh, generally, it seems to be that people only ride them when they're half cut, even though it's illegal <laughs> to do so. We've been out on the source a few times together. Have you ever been tempted to get on one of these scooters? No, but we can have a go at that next time. Uh, that's a really good idea. Just parlaying what the average Australian probably thinks when it sees the e-scooters. But on a serious note, um, naysayers be damned. There is so many international precedents uh, for micro-mobility being one of the fundamental transport modes of major cities. Uh, Melbourne, I'm very surprised they're not taken up in droves in Melbourne. We know Melbournians hate a car. Uh, we know City <laughs> of Yarra, City of Port Phillip, they hate a car. We know the City of Melbourne is increasingly taking out roads to put in bike lanes. I don't think Ugh, they've thought about, about this it. properly. Endorse the e-scooter... And then that will give you cover to take out more roads that cars can drive on and replace them with bike lanes. It's a perfect solution for a green enclave. I think everybody should get on board with it. <laughs> what do you reckon, James? Or should they do it in Sydney too? Look, I've got to confess, I've got teenage sons and they were given a, a motorised scooter for Christmas a year ago. The thing does 40 kilometres an hour. It's too fast for the footpath, but I, I don't like them being on the road with it. But it's a lot of fun. I'm all in favour of these things, but it helps to be sober, probably, Caleb, <laughs> when you are riding them. Yes.